Hello everybody, welcome to episode 4 in this series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the garage system into your 5M server. So this garage system is a free garage system that I just made yesterday that I made specifically for this tutorial and for this guide. This garage system is completely for free and it works for all major frameworks, ESX, QB Core, and QBox. If you have any issues with it, you can always join the Discord and I can provide support there. With that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. So if you haven't already been following along, we already created our server here and we have our resources set up. We have ESX underscore add-ons and alongside that we have our core resources. If you haven't already been following along, you can go ahead and go back in our uh, on the channel and go watch episode one to follow along to here. Or you can just follow the guide from this point on to learn how to install the garage. So first things first, you're going to want to go to the description below and you're going to want to click on the link that will take you to this GitHub page is the free garage system that we released yesterday. So all you're going to want to do once you come on here is you're going to hit the code and you're going to want to hit download zip. Once you do that, all we're going to do is come back into our resources. We're going to open the downloaded zip that we just downloaded. And then all we're going to do is we're going to create a new category in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just call this scripts. The reason we're going to do this is because this isn't an official ESX resource. So I like to keep it split up. I like to have all official ESX resources in this. So as you see, this is all made by the ESX team. So all of these are made by the official ESX team. So any other script that's not made by the official ESX team, I like to just have in a separate category. That way it's just better for organization. Obviously, you can organize your files the way you want to. But that's just personally what I do and to try and keep things organized. So once we have our scripts category, all we're going to do is open that from there. We're going to open our resources right here. The one that we just downloaded, the trace underscore garage, we're just going to drag that into our resources. From there, we're going to go ahead and press F2, or you can just right click and press rename. It's up to you. You just need to rename this and we're just going to rename this and take away this dash main. The reason we're going to take away dash main is because it's just not needed. It's not going to necessarily affect the resource, but it's good practice because if you download, but it's good practice because if you download a whole bunch of resources off of GitHub, you don't want to have a whole bunch of dash mains in every single resource. So just remove that. From there, if you go ahead and open up the trace underscore garage, you're going to see a few different folders in here. I want to go ahead and walk you guys through the config. Before we continue on into the video, if you guys are looking for a good 5M administration system, make sure you guys check out Xyrex. Xyrex is my personal 5M administration system that I built from the ground up. After spending years working on some of the top servers on 5M, one of the main things all servers struggled with was a good administration system. Well, not anymore. Xyrex admin has an online panel so you can control your server from anywhere in the world on any device. On top of that, it has integrated Discord logging so you can keep track of everything and keep logs. Xyrex works on all major frameworks. Xyrex also gives full control control over all staff permissions allowing you to easily create ranks toggle on and off permissions for the ranks and easily set staff ranks automatically via discord roles or if you don't want to use that you can use identifiers and or ace permissions if this interests you and you see a full feature showcase you can go ahead and click the link in the description below anyway hope you guys enjoy the video so the config is essentially where you're going to be able to come in here and edit the things you want. So for example, if you want blips to be shown on the map and you press pause and you can go on the map and see different blips, that's where you can control them here. If you don't want them to show, you can disable them here. You just turn this to false. Same with impounds. From here, you're going to also see garages. You can add as many garages as you want. For the sake of the script, I only put in one garage. Obviously, you can add as many as you want. I recommend adding more, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. We also have a custom impound system. So if you don't want to use the impound system, you just want people to be able to retrieve their vehicles regardless. You can just disable this by type going here and typing false. Alongside that, you can also change the price. So currently by default, it says it's 2,500 and that's going to be the price they have to pay to retrieve their vehicle from the impound. So uh, it, it's a very simple config. It's not uh, too difficult at all. If you want more of an in-depth guide on this, you can actually go over to our documentation. I will leave that link in the description below. And there's actually a step-by-step -step installation tutorial. And alongside that, a step-by-step -step configuration tutorial. Anyway, once we do that, all we're going to do now is we're going to go back into our resources. We're going to have our scripts category. We're going to need to start this whole category. There's two ways you can start the resource. You can either just start trace underscore garage, but for better practice and better and to make it easier long term, we're just going to be starting the entire category. So that way, every time we add a script in here, it'll automatically be started. So to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to copy the name. Then we're going to go into our 5M server and then we're going to go and open up our server.cfg. Once you have your server at CFG open, all we're going to do is we're going to come under ESX underscore add-ons, the ensure ESX underscore add-ons, and we're just going to go down and we're going to do ensure and then paste, and we're going to start the entire scripts category. You can also just do ensure trace underscore garage if that's what you would rather do. But again, for the sake of the tutorial and to make things easier long term, we're just going to start the entire category because that means any resource we add into that category will automatically be started and I won't have to add it every single time. From there, all you have to do is start your server and you should be ready to go. So let's head over into the server now and check it out. We just loaded into our server and if we go ahead and press escape we should be able to open our map and as you guys see we now have impounds right here and alongside that we have 
these garages here now if you'll see one thing here basically what we have is we have an overlapping garage system so e this is because esx automatically comes with a garage system although personally i'm not the biggest fan of their garage system and that's why i decided to create my free one because in my opinion i just kind of like the simplicity of the free one i release better but obviously that's completely up to you and the your decision on what garage system you want to use for your server but in just case you're like me and you have overlapping garage systems i want to teach you guys how to remove that now because obviously following along this guide if you're following it episode by episode you're gonna have the same issue as me so to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our files so we're gonna go to 5m server we're gonna go to resources from there we're gonna go to esx underscore add-ons so then from there all we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the esx underscore garage resource if you have a lot of resources and you can't find it you can also just come up here and you can also just search garage and find it that way so as you guys see, we have the trace underscore garage is what we're going to be wanting to use. And then we have ESX underscore garage, which we do not want to use. So if you, you know, find this, you can right click on it and you can hit open folder location. From there, all we're going to do is first we're going to rename it. And I copy the name just so I don't have to type it out. And then we're just going to delete the folder. Once you delete the folder, anytime you start the server from now on, it will not start. So we can go ahead and restart the server or what you can do is actually come into your server and then just do press F8 and type stop space and then paste the name or just type ESX underscore garage, press enter. So now if we actually press escape, you will actually see the uh, there's no more overlapping garages and we have successfully removed the ESX um, garage system. So now let's test out these garages. So we're just going to go here. We're going to go to TPM and boom, as you guys see, here's the garage here. So we can literally just go here open garage and then boom and so it's a very simple garage system all you do is use your arrow keys to navigate to browse your vehicles this is the only vehicle i have and we just press enter so as you guys see it's a very simple garage system if you guys do enjoy these videos you guys want to see more videos like this please make sure you guys like the video and subscribe seeing that kind of helps me motivate me to keep creating these free resource guides and things like that for you guys so please make sure you guys are liking and subscribing if you guys do have any issues with any of these resources please make sure you guys join our discord where we have an active development team that is willing to help you with that being said hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you guys in the next video.